Chairman Brown, we haven't had you in studio since your campaign for council chair, along with Mayor Vincent Gray. You had a oh. somewhat bumpy start to your term related to the SUV you requested from the city. It's still what many people know best about you. On reflection, what have you learned from that episode? Well, I mean, I learned that, you know, everyone, you know, makes a mistake. Um, and what I've learned is that as council chair, uh, I, st I started off doing everything that I promised I'd do, and that is to ensure that we get an ethics bill out of the council, uh, committed to make sure that we have a fiscal uh, government that's going to have a budget that's going to be balanced, but it's also going to make sure that we don't leave out the people that needed it the most. We've hired a phenomenal staff. I mean, we hired the first female budget director in the history of the council. Uh, who's done a phenomenal job. We put together a solid team. When it comes to the institution itself, no one has talked about the institution not being on the same page. We've had more legislative meetings than, than any other uh, period in the time of the District of Columbia. Uh, so, it's, you know, if I had to take some things back, I would. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, you learn and you keep moving and you make sure you deliver to the, for the people of the District of Columbia. You, you had promised that once the Attorney General looked at the SUV and the two that were leased and whether it cost us any money, you would offer to pay. But I don't believe he has come up with a dollar figure, has he? Well, it's, it's clear that I, for the month that I had the vehicle, I clearly said that I definitely would. But no one said to you it cost X dollars. Or but once we get that information, right. we'll, we'll move forward. And then also on, on the campaign finance issues, there's been all, are that still kind of pursuing you're waiting to see if the campaign finance office is maybe going to fine you for the, the the incomplete reporting you did are you all comfortable with that at this point well i mean i'm comfortable with the office of campaign finance i mean they have been looking at this issue uh for a campaign that took place three or four years ago and it's very clear if they come up with a fine that we we would pay the fine and we keep moving at the end of the day uh the question is how do we move this city forward and that's what we're looking to do Indeed, if the city does move forward, you seem to have undertaken a good start on this budget deal. Do you think that at some point you'll be able to look back at this and do what a lot of other people are doing, find some humor in it, so oh, it's, in it's, the it's, SUV incident? Oh, well, no, it's, it's, uh, it's, I'm, I'm fully loaded. That's the city paper has adopted that as your I'm, I'm fully loaded. I'm fully loaded. <laughs> but, I mean, I understand the seriousness of, of, of things that have taken place. And, and let me just thank the residents because at the end of the day, you know, you know, people make, you know, decisions and then they they learn from them. And that's what I think has, has happened. I'll, I'll let Tom uh, have the SUV fully loaded <laughs> uh, for him this weekend. You're, you're still driving that, that little mail truck, that, that little mail Jeep. It's not a truck, it's a Jeep where the, the steering wheel's on the right-hand side of the car. <laughs> you're going to have a wreck and everybody's going to miss It's going to be a nightmare. You're going to keep yeah. driving that thing? Well, let me say, uh, uh, Kojo, I, you know what you learn is that, you know, the home rule charter allows the, the, the chairman to have a car as well as the mayor to have a vehicle. And it shouldn't be an SUV. It should be a hybrid or electric car. And, and, I, and I'm fine with that. And you understand that. And, and and that's what we'll do as we move forward. And, of course, D.C. used to be the number one city in the country for three years running as the fittest city in the country. Now, you know, with people who bike or walk, I know you're a jogger. Tom Sherwood goes out and gets a bicycle, and we get knocked down to the second fittest city in the nation. Uh, all those we're like uh, being uh, punished because you started you know, most of those. Most of those surveys are ridiculous. You know, the one about we're the, like the worst Tom drivers and all that stuff. Tom Sherwood we're making is our progress in the city. He's an NBC <laughs>